filming? Yeah. Great. Our main aim today, I think, is going to be to glass in the floor supports. And hopefully this will be the last time I say floor supports. Yay! We've got these little um, epoxy blisters in the hull as well that we've, we've uncovered. So I'm going to grind those up, put a nice bevel in those, and then epoxy and glass those up. And then we will get the fiberglass rolls out and put these floor supports in once and for all. Damn it! <laughs> I just realised what you said. What are you going to do? I don't know, you've not told me yet. I told you, you're going to sand and prep the area. Ben's cut fibreglass for one side, enough fibreglass for one. Oops. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> of course it's windy. Why wouldn't it be windy? It doesn't make my life really difficult. Okay, so my method here to tab the floor supports to the hull. It's going to be, I'm just going to use two layers of glass. It's not structural. Um, it's just to hold it in place. One is this glass tape, and I'm going to overlay that with some biaxial. So let me just measure this. I'm going to do it in one meter length. Oh, she's big. We've got the fiberglass cut for one side. One little glass sausage. Ellie's going to cut the fiberglass for the other side while I'm grinding out these holes. Then we're going to start a little production line. Ellie's going to be on prepping the fiberglass and the resin, and I'll be laying and rolling. So that's the plan. We should be done in a few hours, and then jobs are good, and then we'll call it a day because it's date night. Date night. Boop, boop. Starts early today as well because. The film we want to see isn't till, is it 5 o'clock instead of 7.30 p.m.? Who does that? Who does that? So we've got lots to do before date night starts. Woo! Date night! Because I love you. Date night's cancelled. But you love me. Night. Come on. I love you. I love you. With feeling. I love you with feeling. I've got some mass off a roll here, I've got some biaxial and I've got some peel ply, which we're going to put four pieces on to support these beams. So let's start with round one of fibreglassing. What's happened here? I should have put that end. I'm trying to just pull it because it's. I'm trying to avoid this stretchy outy weirdness. I'm doing it. No, I didn't think it was either. Sorry. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Let's get another sheet out quickly. One of those sausages. And round two's up. Okay, right, let's try this again. What's happened here? Oh, what an absolute mess. That's not how we picked it up. How has it ended up like that? Uh, I don't think I can recover this. I think smaller, I think smaller pieces. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Such a waste of resin. Do I hear a round three? Nope. Okay, right, so I'm gonna get another piece. Okay. <sighs> there we go, right. So this is the release fabric, so this is what the all that blush is going to come out. So I'm just going to give this some resin and I'm going to roll out all the air bubbles. We need to cut more glass yeah. that makes some more resin and stuff, but this is going to go tacky. So what I'm going to do is I'm just putting this on to try and save this, save us a lot of work. So what we'll do is we'll put this on, then we'll move on to like this side and do this side and then we'll come back to this side last. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button and hit that bell to get alerts for each new episode. It's quite warm in here now. I have managed to get epoxy on my head, near my eyebrows, on my elbow. It's going well. First time we fiberglassed, it was we basically did it in long strips, two long strips, and um, that proved to be very difficult to basically get flat and without any air bubbles in. And when the fiberglass is actually wet, it 
slightly stretches if you're not careful. You almost have to paint the resin on really, like following the grooves, that it doesn't sort of stretch and get all stringy. Um, so we bend all that, which is expensive. <laughs> We have basically cut them out into short, smaller pieces. We've kind of got this production line going. I'm painting on the resin as Ben is putting it onto the floor support. And then it's, there's one ready for him every time he's finished putting it on. So this side down here, we'll, we're gonna come back to because that was a bit we messed up. So we've done this side. So now we've moved over, on, moved over to this side and we're gonna do both sides of the floor support. It's very windy. I'm now going to cut some more fiberglass, ready for when Ben gets back, we can crack on. <laughs> okay, so this is the roll of fibreglass, is this fibreglass? Yeah, biaxial fibreglass. Biaxial? Yes. Okay. This is the roll of biaxial, it has very, very faint lines down it, like threads, so that you can cut it relatively straight. It's really hard to see, so you've got to get the light in the right place. It's really difficult to do it on a boat. Thank you, baby. My nose. My nose, stick it on. It's fine. I'm going to get this. <laughs> stick it on one end and then put it on the other. I think we're finally getting the hang of it. It's the next day. We've done three sides. We have one side to go. We slightly messed it up yesterday, the first one. So we left it. We put some peel plow on it yesterday straight away. And then we're gonna tackle that one today. And then we have officially glassed in the floor supports. Can I get a whoop whoop? Okay, that wasn't very enthusiastic, but. Now you might look at this and think, wow, what a professional job they've done. Fortunately, we weren't able to get close-up shots of the other pieces we laid. And quite a good job we didn't, as you wouldn't be thinking that if you saw those. Still, we're pretty proud to say we have successfully tabbed the supports to the hull, and they are not going anywhere. Well done, babe. What we have here is all the flooring for the saloon. I've cut it down mainly at the workshop and I've brought it here just so that I can fine tune it and just cut off the tiny little pieces. I didn't want to just measure it and take it to the workshop without actually having to do the little bits here because I want it to be absolutely precise and I just don't think I can do that without being here. So the workshop helps so much in the fact that we've got somewhere we can cut things down, cut it down to pieces that will fit in the car, bring it down here and just fine tune it. Normally I do it outside there's lots of room, but it is absolutely hammering it down, as per usual this time of year. So here I am inside. It's not great in here. We've done some epoxying and there's this, this faint smell of acetone and epoxy in the air, which isn't ideal, so I'll probably get a headache soon. But I just want to get these pieces in some sort of position and then go from there. We're going away for the weekend, so it'd be really good to have the majority of this wood cut before we leave at the end of today. Okay, so I can't put this board in straight. Also, this bulkhead is not square to the mast post. So, what I've done, I've squared the board up, I've measured it where it comes to on here, and I'm at this end, and I've slid the board across. So I've measured down the mast 14 and a half to where the curve starts, I've measured from the center of this board to where the curve starts and I've got that at six. I've measured down here, 14 and a half. I've measured across here, six. I'm gonna get a coin or a washer and just go across here to curve off that edge. I'm gonna cut that line going from there down there. I'm going to cut a straight line. It will overhang in the centre ever so slightly because of the support isn't perfectly straight. 
that's what I'll do once we've got that line cut. I'll just scribe in the bend in it and then jigsaw that out. I'm very nervous, but it's still part of it. Okay, cut made. No going back now. This hasn't worked. This could go on my little holiday. Come back right. So the line is in here. So that's what we want to cut to. So that is good. That means we're going to overhang, and we can come back to that. Thank you for watching another episode of Sailing Run Punch. Join us in two weeks when we tackle the flooring. <laughs>